And what I see all over the place is people who care about looking good while doing evil. It's the fake good guys, right? It's the virtue signalers who pretend they are good while doing all of the wrong things. Tesla currently sells uh, two, twice as much uh, in terms of electric vehicles as the rest of uh, electric car makers in, in the United States combined. Tesla has done more to help the environment than uh, all other companies combined. It would be fair to say that, therefore, as a leader of the company, I've done more for the environment than everyone else, any single human on Earth. How do you feel about that? No, I, no how do I feel about that? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm asking you personally how you feel about that, because this goes, we're talking about power and influence and... I'm and saying, I'm saying what, I, what, what I care about is the, the reality of goodness, not the perception of it. And what I see all over the place is people who care about looking good while doing evil. F them. Okay? Do you see how they could push a good man into starting to seem like he's the crazy guy? Now, I don't think he's the crazy guy. I don't think you think he's the crazy guy, but you can see it, right? Here he is saying, hey, I've done more for the environment. He's not saying it to pat himself on the back. What a great line. I believe in the reality of goodness, not the perception of goodness. That's what virtue signaling is, right? Everyone virtue signals about how wonderful they are and all the things that they do and everyone else is bad and they're so good. Here's a guy actually doing good. He has done good with Tesla. I can tell you this, you know, I, we have two Teslas, okay? We have two Teslas. And even if Tesla was doing jack shit for the environment, the cars are awesome. Everyone that gets in my car that's never been in a Tesla is like, this is the coolest freaking thing ever. They drive beautifully. They're the safest car on the road. Everything else, putting aside any of the environmental stuff. He'd also like to make a buck while doing some good for the world. And not only is he doing good for this world, he is literally trying to get it so that there will be interplanetary life, which ultimately we will need because this planet is most likely going to burn, right? Like that is sort of where it's all heading. And by the way, it's not going to burn because of climate change. It's going to be burning because of all the lunatics who are gladly setting ablaze all of the, the goodness that humans have worked on over thousands and thousands of years. So the reality of goodness over the perception of goodness Dare I say there's a little bit, this is gonna sound like really lofty, lofty, but there's a little bit of like a Jesus quality there, right? Like there really is. He's trying to do good and what is the system doing to him, right? Christmas is coming, that is kind of the story of Jesus, right? Here, a good person in a bad time is suddenly thought of as the bad guy. 